Hello, this is Stefano and today we will talk about uh, the audio path inside the SP4. It is very important to understand how the audio flows inside the SP4 because uh, in this way you can understand how to use the FX. The FX or plugins can be loaded in several ways and uh, they process uh, um, the audio depending on where you are loaded it. You can uh, render audio effects inside audio file. You can uh, render audio effects inside the audio CD layout uh, when you burn a CD or you export DDP files. Or you can use effects to play live just on insert on the inputs or input recorders. So let's start uh, loading some audio files inside the project just select them, click open. On the left of uh, the project window you see a list of all the objects that are able to to play. From the top there is an audio editor, audio CD layout, then there are all the files that uh, in this moment can be loaded uh, into the audio editor or on into the audio CD layout. Then there are audio inputs and um, you can open uh, one or more <coughs> audio inputs the SP4 will switch to the mixer or input recorders in the same way I can open one or more input recorders or virtual instruments uh, if and only if they uh, are already installed as a unit plugin on your system so as you can see, each object uh, from audio editor, audio CD layout, audio inputs, uh, virtual instrument, input recorders, uh, each one has its own channel strip. And uh, each channel strip will have its own effects on insert, which are totally independent one from the other. So let's start from the audio editor, drag uh, a file to load it inside the audio editor. The audio starts from the file, goes through the gain father, and then goes through the effects on insert of, on this uh, uh, audio editor and on this file. Let's see. Let's play something. Now I take uh, an effect, let's say I take uh, a reverb by Apple, which is uh, Matrix Reverb. I can uh, select uh, uh, a factory preset, a very large cathedral, and I play. As you can see, this, the audio um, is going to be processed by uh, the plugin. Um, one very important thing to understand is that uh, this uh, FX on insert to this audio file will be different from the, f the, the effect that will be on insert on uh, another audio file. So for example now there is a, another audio file this, pl this will play without FX. The SP4 is going to open uh, a new tab for each audio file that you are going to add on uh, on the audio editor and uh, these audio editors are totally independent to one each other so each one has its own uh, audio effects on insert I can just play it uh, through a different effects let's say a resonant filter that I'm going to close in uh, some resonance And as you can see, the SP4 keeps uh, track on also on the about the interface for each audio editor. And if you wish to render the audio effects on insert on the audio file itself, uh, you can use this menu command that is render inter insert effects. The SP4 will ask for a file name 
will ask if you wish to load it uh, inside the audio editor after processing. We'll ask to add a tail and how much this tail must be long. And uh, if you wish to apply a fade out on the tail of the processing, click OK. The SP4 will process, will generate a new file and uh, it will uh, load it inside the editor. So you can see it from here and it will play. Exactly as the source file that uh, was processed by the reverb. This one was the source file without the effect. So let's see the audio CD layout. Uh, let's take a couple audio files just uh, as an example. To create um, a couple of uh, audio CD region and uh, audio CD tracks. Now, um, as for the audio file editor, um, the audio CD layout will have its own channel strip with a game father and uh, the FX on insert. These FX will uh, process the output of uh, the audio CD layout, so it will process all the um, audio tracks and uh, also the crossfade between tracks. So um, it will process uh, the total output of uh, the audio CD layout. Make an example. I take a reverb. As, as before, I take the Apple um, Matrix verb. And uh, I set a cathedral to ma make something very evident. And I, I will play. So let's go to the uh, to transaction to the transition just to make something uh, faster just to make uh, it more easy to understand And uh, as you can see, uh, the reverb is uh, processing both audio regions. Um, there are cases in which uh, you wish to apply different uh, uh, effects for each audio region. You can do that, just uh, opening a side panel go into the region info and uh, this info will be different from each uh, other region that uh, you loaded inside the audio CD layout and each region will have its own effects. These effects uh, will be applied, you know, will be pro the SP4 will process this effect uh, only on uh, that region. And um, both so the insert FX of each other regions and um, the uh, insert FX on the audio CD layout will be rendered to CD or to audio file when you will export the audio CD layout as a single audio file or uh, exporting it as a DDP or burning a CD ROM. So uh, this is uh, the first level of uh, insert FX. There is another level of insert FX that are the output uh, channel strips. So um, let's go to the mixer to make the things a little bit easier to understand. Um, as we said, each object it is going to play. So audio, CD, audio editor, audio CD layout, uh, inputs, uh, virtual instruments, and uh, input recorders, uh, uh, each one has its own FX on insert, but all can go uh, to play to one of the, these uh, output channel strips. And uh, how could, can you can assign uh, where they play? Just opening the output uh, uh, control on the top. So uh, to make an example, if I play 
my editor I can play uh, um, I play the editor that is uh, uh, in this moment it is this, this audio file uh, where the, um, the FX uh, has been bypassed so uh, the mixer will play and we will play through the main output that is the, the first channel strip but uh, I can assign to the other uh, channel strips on output just clicking on this button so just playing uh, so this is uh, the, the second output third As you can see, when I choose a different output, uh, uh, the audio is routing to a different uh, uh, output channel strip. Each uh, channel strip on output has its own uh, insert effect that will modify, will process uh, the, the audio mixed from uh, uh, all the channel strips that is playing through this channel strip. So, let's say, if I have uh, the audio CD layout, the uh, audio input that they are playing both on the main out, uh, both will be processed by this one. Uh, there is a way uh, also to to render this channel strip to file using the output recorder, but uh, I will descri describe this uh, in a different tutorial. Uh, you can ask why you are doing something like that. It's very useful because in some way I can have configuration for live uh, performances where um, I use uh, different uh, uh, audio inputs and um, um, uh, virtual instruments uh, or um, that uh, need something that is common all to all them on output just to play them through the speakers and uh, this is uh, a common uh, FX send that uh, can be very useful in many cases. Um, by the way, I think uh, for now it is enough. Uh, on next tutorials I will describe uh, better the output recorder and uh, editing and the OCD layout and all the features of the SP4. Thank you very much for um, uh, listening and um, I'll see you next time. Thank you. <laughs>